set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. On the return, Williams. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by a former first-rounder in his fourth year now out of Utah State, Jordan Love. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL go, career, he had one of the best yellow, seats in the stadium white. watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket on big play potential. He wants to show this organization he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Now a second and ten. Play fake. Here's Love. Connects with Kittle underneath. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Off the play fake. Love. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here. But you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Greg Olson, 37 yards. And the Seahawks are on the board first here this afternoon. That appeared like any routine NFL quarterback, but it was Michael Vick from the pocket, throws a touchdown pass. I just think about the transformation throughout his career. From Atlanta, where he would take off and go at just about the drop of a hat and turn defenses into mush. And then by the end of his career in Philadelphia, where he completed pass like we just saw from the pocket, yet still had those great legs when necessary to get him out of trouble. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. Williams to return, taking it about the one. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can. He's got a man complete. And out across midfield down to the 45. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. On first and 10, Love. Catch is made. It's Schultz on the out route. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing. Love. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. Second and 10. Ready? Play action this time with Love. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. Oh, one of the linemen on the other side 
has got it. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time, we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, blitz coming and down he goes. Bobby Wagner, multiple times in all pro, in there to drop him for a loss. After one, seven, nothing. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Vic incomplete. It was knocked away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And Vic's throw there incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Vic to throw on fourth down. He's got his target. That's complete. Decision to go for it pays off with six points. Carlson down to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. So that drive for four plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Williams now on the return. Fielded just outside. Williams loses the football. Picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Working out of the gun. Love to the right side. He's got Parker. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Love. He'll find Parker again, complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Going back to Love. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. Third and 19. Push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Beckham, the return. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. The Seahawks going to take over now late in this first half. 
Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if that... Yeah. Man, it's caught inside the 10. A big play there just before halftime. 67 yards. Here's first and goal. And gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away. To... And he will not be denied. In the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Marshawn Lynch in the final seconds of the first half. And the Seahawks would extend their lead here just before halftime. Carlson on for the PAT. And it is now 21 to nothing. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. On the return, Williams. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of... They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So, to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Down the numbers. There he goes. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Christian McCaffrey, 49 yards. And the Seahawks come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it is 28-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Williams to return. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near okay, impossible. Ready? Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible Yellow. if this one. possession is an empty one. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Here's a second and eight. Love now. They drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. When you run 
around in the slant. Timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Love looking to throw it. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that top. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Seahawks will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your nice start, they went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes this 35 to nothing now. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Williams now on the return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Ready? Love. This is going to be incomplete. How about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here's Johnny Hacker now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Fielded at the 20. A nice return that time. Gets 12 yards back. And they will take over first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Back now in Seattle, Washington. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now second and three. Ready. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. 
And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. For a gain of five, good enough for the first down. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to give a whole lot of credit to the running game the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line. Yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. On first down, this is McCaffrey. A little juke. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. On second down, McCaffrey. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. On second down, Love once more. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here we go, set. Here's third and seven. Cut, cut. To throw now. Here's Love. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Here's Johnny Hacker now. He's been terrific so far. Fielded just inside the 30. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard. But they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives. And I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way this game has gone, they got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Partner, in the sportsmanship handbook, there's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL, and it's their job to stop them whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and ten. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. You and I have been around teams, and they all have goals for games, don't they? 
And every team we've ever talked to says what? No turnovers. <laughs> Don't turn the ball over. Zero. And they were that close to getting it done. Won't cost them today, but they'll hate that when they're watching the game tape. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Okay, right? Set, ready. They got the fumble recovery. Now here's Love to pass. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Ted Hendricks making his presence felt. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. job becomes twice as difficult now yellow, after one. the sack it's second Watch and 20 Switch. Yellow. Ready. to Ready. pass here's Jordan Love that's into the hands of Isaiah Coulter a nice pick up there 19 yards and they're set up better for third that's a good box back play right there after taking a sack on first down didn't quite get it to the marker but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call if you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Third down and one. Ready. On play action. Love to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. So the victory here for Seattle. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine. Set to go now on a beautiful, sunny afternoon. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. This taken in right around the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. start with the option and he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25 yard line from the 25 here's second and six now Manziel and the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down Opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Manziel. Oh, he 
he's got a man wide open, complete. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Manziel. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. They'll look to throw. That's taken in, Dontavian Wicks. Coming up, they got eight yards there. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Derek Henry, the ball carrier. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Pass. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. And they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. here the same as the last play another tackle behind the line of scrimmage by the Seahawk defense the Mississippi State man Chris Jones with a sack there yeah this one's going toward the sideline they'll try to play keep away from Beckham and no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here come the Seahawks in their offense now under veteran head coach Pete Carroll. Leading them out will be the four-time Pro Bowler, the 2010 Comeback Player of the Year. At quarterback, it's the dynamic Michael Vick. That's caught downfield by Kittle. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there in every snap. A truly powerful Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here as they've got it with a first and ten. It's a play fake. Now Vic. Catch is made by Metcalf. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. Here's Michael Vic. And it's caught. Touchdown. Seahawks post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's OBJ or Del Beckham who ends it with a touchdown reception. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Now before we get to our next drive, oh my goodness, folks, the big one is coming. No, not the Super Bowl, but the $1 million Madden Bowl, the crown jewel of the Madden Championship Series. Our friend RG says you're not going to want to miss this one. It streams live January 30th, 31st, up through the final on February 1. Tune into the EA Madden NFL Twitch channel, 6.30 Eastern. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Now the offense, Charles, they were feeling the disaster already backed up deep in their own territory. So the interception and the pick six ensued. That was a big play. It certainly was, and the short field gave him the rare opportunity to take it all the way back and quickly. 
And once he saw that he had an open field, there's no way he's going to let that opportunity slip away and finds his way into the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Back in the play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That's caught, Andre Yoshibas. Now he's loose down the middle of the field. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Carolina. Andre Yoshibas, 83 yards. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Moody good with the extra point. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. Odell Beckham Jr. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. 87 yards, the official distance on the kickoff return. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge it. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This taken in at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone. As and how it ended? Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So he looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Taken right around the 44. 35 yards that time on the punt. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. The Seahawks going to take over now late in this first half. They have a good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket. No reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Back to the ground, this time Lynch. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Marshawn Lynch. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Carlson now to add the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. 
One play, two plays, touchdown. That's all it took there. A very short and sweet drive that got him in the end zone. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. This fielded right at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Panthers are going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. They'll look to throw here. They set up the screen for Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little gain. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL. And it All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. What a way to start the second half. These guys are showing no signs of letting up. They have a chance to take a decided advantage with this possession. A first down throw coming for Vic. That went into the hands of Adams downfield. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The second quarter starts off with a bang as they snag over 30 yards. First down, Vic. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Vic's throw complete there to Beckham. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. And we sit in quarter number three out in go, Seattle, a second and 10 now. It'll be Vic once more. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Meanwhile, on 
third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Henry up the middle. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional. In the battle of game plans, theirs has been superior. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Getting out a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. He's across midfield and finally brought down at the 43. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. Back now in Seattle, Washington. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that is incomplete. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short. And he didn't get there. Derrick Henry denied here on fourth down. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball. And this is caught. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. They seemingly just continue to score at will. And <laughs> as great as it's been for the offense, you got to feel for that defense down there. I love that you use the word will because both teams came into the game with the will to win. But one team has obviously imposed its will on the other and broken them. Because what we're seeing right now, wow, that's a defense that's in tatters after what they faced in this ball game. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And this one was a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Carolina offense about ready to go. 
We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way the opponent was playing. A partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Here's second and eight. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. A 40-yard punt given three on the return. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Ready. Now they're going to throw it here with Vic. He'll find Metcalf. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. At the 46-yard line. On play action, Vic. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Vic on third and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Vic incomplete. It was knocked away. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Vic to the air again. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Panthers force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. This will go to Henry. Yeah, the ball is knocked out. And the Seahawks have picked it up. Well, maybe it hasn't exactly been a Rembrandt, but they've been mistake-free to this point and finally cough it up. I don't think it's going to cost them the game. They should be fine. But, boy, they're going to hate that going back and watching tape and being able to say we were that close to achieving our goal of zero turnovers yeah, during the game. A little blemish, but as you say, still comfortably in command. Manziel. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Now Manziel. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Here's Beckham. Yeah. 
So the victory here for Seattle. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It, it certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they